Good morning, Delaware. We have new data to move through for July. As we sit in the middle of the summer, we can see two things are very clear with our housing market. Number one, inventory is now beginning to accumulate. And number two, price points aren't slowing down. Let's look at the data and talk about how Delaware housing market is changing going into the end of 2024. Also, if you wanna follow along, here is our follow along guide. It's literally the same exact document I'm using from the Bright MLS. Hit this QR code, hit the link in bio and follow along. We have a lot of data to peel through, but Delaware, welcome to the peak of our seasonal market. That's right, we have just now entered past the line as we sit and shoot this on July 20th the line of the peak of our market. See, we are going to see less home sales in July than we saw in June. That's just a seasonal average. And then less than in August than in the prior month, July. Moving in the fall, it will continue to slow slightly until we hit our slowest month of the year. Which month do you think it is? It's January, December being the second slowest. And then we will go right back into the same cycle of moving up in our inventory and demand all up until April and May. But if we could start with a really important stat right here, we'll see that April, May, and June, the end of market inventory, meaning the amount of homes that are currently for sale, you can go check them out, they're available to walk in right now and maybe place an offer, is going up every month and that's important because if we ever want price points to regulate correct or if you want them to come down in some world you would need supply or inventory to increase and to be clear demand would also have to decrease while supply increases for any type of correction or crash to happen but this isn't an economics lesson supply this time last year in july was 2684 homes and as of july of 2024 we're sitting at a current inventory of 3540 that is just over 880 homes different, meaning we are indeed accumulating inventory. But is demand going down? The numbers would actually say no. Last year in June, we had 958 homes go under contract, whereas this year we had a thousand homes go under contract, uh, both a thousand in June and a thousand in May, and presumably we'll have a thousand as well in July. And that's more homes going under contract than we had just last year. And that would say on the surface, there's more demand, but there's more to this story and I wanna break it down for you. So that would mean statistically, yes, there is more home going under contract, but does that correlate exactly to more demand? I'd argue there's other variables. One of the variables I'd argue that is at play is the amount of homes that are hitting the market in comparison to last year and the amount of options that are available in comparison to last year. Last year in May, there were only 1,511 homes listed. And in this year, 2024 May, there were 1,796 homes listed. So there were more homes that hit the market. And we already said there are overall more homes to go see. So. Yes, we've had more homes go under contract, but there's been plenty more options hitting the market. So does demand go up? Is demand going down? I would argue demand looks like it's going down. So if you're playing bingo at home, looking for a housing market correction, we are currently meeting two of the main factors that would be required, or at least in the beginning ebbs and flows of it, increasing supply, decreasing demand. What about prices? Are home prices coming down? Are they going up? Let's talk about it. Let's dig into home prices. If you're following along, you'll look at sold median and sold volume. Sold volume in May of 2023 was $545 million worth of real estate sold. June of 2020-2023, we had $586 million in real estate sold. And that brought our sold median to 360,000 in May and 370,000 in June, both for 2023. Now, if we scoot 12 months ahead to what's going on in 2024, we'll see that the home prices did not go down. In fact, they went up for Delaware to $398,500 as the sold median. And in June, dropping just a little to a sold median of 390,000. But a price decrease at the closing table does not mean that people are listing their homes for less. In fact, last year, homes were being listed in June for $385,000. As of June of this year, that list price on median in Delaware is 409,000. 
$990. Actually, added an extra 90 there. I'm sorry. I was being dramatic. It's only 900, not 990. Days on market, meaning the amount of time that the home is sitting, the median amount of time it takes for that home to get showings that are required for the offer that gets it to the closing table. This is the amount of time it takes for that home to receive its first offer they're going to accept. And that number really determines the pace of whether or not we're in a buyer's market or a seller's market. A seller's market is classically anything that is under 80 days on average, and a buyer's market would be considered the opposite, anything over 80 days on average. But the current days on market average is obviously in a seller's market. Back in May and June of 2023, we saw 33 and 28 as the days on market for each of those months respectively. And moving into 2024, we now see that number has gone up ever so slightly to 35 and 31 days. So really not much difference in whether or not we are in a seller's market or a buyer's market, but there are some interesting trends that we are gonna see more than likely as we move into the fall that could bring more dramatic results than we saw last year. So I wanna point you to January of 2024, where we see the unit sold at its lowest amount, 758 homes reaching the closing table. If we go down from there to 994, 1090, 1105, we see that number continues to go up all the way till we hit August, the last month of our summer market. And if we look at June, 2023, up until November of 2023, we see that the end of market inventory, the amount of homes that are for sale and actively available to go see today will continue to go up just based off of seasonality. So with an uptick in people now listing their homes, we're seeing that trend where more people are choosing to list than last year and no real uptick in demand maybe because interest rates remain high, affordability remains a problem for most, or maybe just the seasonality of it all, we may see a more dramatic fall in winter, meaning we could see end of market inventory eclipse 4,000 for the first time since pre-COVID, and we could more than likely not just see home prices not accumulating at the same rate that we saw last year, which is about one to 3% in market price increase from October to December of last year. I think from October to December in the quarter four of our housing market, we're going to start to slightly see a decrease in pricing. I believe the numbers are stating that. I believe we're gonna to continue to see that, but nevertheless, we're gonna to continue to keep you updated month to month with these numbers. And if you're more interested in county by county, city by city, might I suggest our loft report that is extra in depth, very niche down to school district zip codes, three bed, four bed, all the information you want right here and sent to you and put to your hands every single month. Have a great one, Delaware. Looking forward to giving you more numbers on today's housing market.